Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Well, I hadn't planned on doing another video so soon, but um, I went out today, which today is Sunday, to get my mail from yesterday, and I had some things in there that I need to share. And also, um, I had received this purchase a while ago from Christy Biddleston, who is um, Meta, I think it's Meta Studios now. And um, as usual, you know, I will link all the information below in the description box for everyone that um, I'm going to share today. Um, let me see. She always adds all the extra special touches. I um, And this is just my invoice folded up to look like an envelope. Isn't that cute? And Christy posted a video yesterday showing how she uh, decorates her Happy Mail envelope and then how she puts a uh, Happy Mail together. She does such a beautiful job. Um, it's worth taking a look. And look, she's got a little mandala stamp. And just a thank you so much for all your support. Hope you enjoy. Love and hugs. Christy Cannon, Alley Cat. Alley Cat is her daughter. Just the sweetest kid you would ever want to know. I love that kid. Oh, and I can't even fold it back right. No, that's not right. Look at this. Okay. So, uh, well, first let's look in here. I had a little wine spill last night. <laughs> so, fortunately, that's the only thing that, um, got any wine on it but uh it's funny i cracked myself up it wasn't because of being uh it wasn't because i drank too much wine <laughs> just because i'm clumsy as all get out I don't generally uh, overindulge these days. I'm too old for that nonsense. So this is just a bag of extra goodies because Christie's just like that. I love these little seals. I have, um, I actually got a stationery set that had um, this stuff in it. I keep forgetting I have that because it's in the box. I need to pull that stuff out. But these are the little seals she put in there. And she always sends some fabulous tea. Here's a little playing card. Isn't that cute? A little cat. And then here's some vellum pieces. Very nice. Here's a... Oh, these are tea bags. And a library card. And a guest check. Oh, look at the rabbit. Oh, dear. I shall be late. Story of my life. True story, you guys. I am pretty much late everywhere I go. I never used to be that way. But it just seems like the older I get, the harder it is for me to get around and get ready. Love these napkins. Very boho. Oh, look. The Mad Hatter. I haven't done anything. Oh, and Alice. I haven't done anything else in Wonderland yet. It seems like it was a big thing for a while. But it just wasn't something that had piqued my interest yet. And there's the phone. Excuse me. Okay, we're back. Just gathering up the little goodies here. I'll tell you, it's hard for me even to film videos when I feel like doing it. Because I get all kinds of interruptions. Which is just kind of how my life is right now. When I'm not at my mom, she's calling. Which it's fine. I... I would rather it be that way than not. But, um, you know, when you're trying to do something, it just it gets a little frustrating. But moving on. Uh, Chrissy has uh, made soaps. I don't know if she's still doing that or if she was just doing this for a time. But I got um, goat's milk soap with lemongrass and lavender essential oils. And it's a four ounce bar. Mm, smells good. Of course, she's wrapped it up with um, 
one of her seals and some fabric. Everything Christy does, she adds that extra touch. I think I said that already, but it warrants being said twice. <laughs> and then I also got um, this little journal that she made. Um, it comes in this um, bag. I got thread on it. But um, I thought that would be fun to decorate. But she always puts her journals in these bags. And then um, this has this little tag. It comes with it. It says, believe in yourself. Come on, focus. Why aren't you focusing? There we go. For a second it did. But anyway, it's got, um, it's covered with fabric. And then she's got like a little collage here and the seal. And then she's got, um, Meta Studio Traveler's Notebook, which is what this is. Handmade Vegan, May 2020, artist Christy Biddleston. She's got the uh, elastic enclosure. She's got this little metal uh, piece on top. It says Believe. Covered in fabric with the metal corners. And she used the craft, I think it's craft text. Is that what that's called? Uh, craft. It's craft something. I can't think what it's called got this beautiful mandala in here that she's dot painted and then it's just got a lined notebook here and then this is just a, um, a um, blank page notebook there it's got pocket here pocket here and then of course you know with it being the traveler notebook style you can remove these and add um, like an a, like you need a new notepad or if you want to put something else in there you can so, um, just a cute, cute little journal, and there's the back side of it. So, that's what I had got from Christy a while ago that I kept forgetting to share. Like I said, I will link her um, shop information below. Okay, now, what I got in the mail today... The first thing, this is an enablement <laughs> from, uh, I think her, is it Scrap Chick? It's Colleen. Um, I think her name is Scrap Chick on YouTube. Like I said, I will look it all up and um, put it on there. But um, she first introduced probably all of us to Joggles, which is a website where you can get craft supplies at a pretty good price. Uh, Hottie Popo has nicknamed her Joggles. <laughs> but um, anyway, she was on with, um, was she on with Kathy Berg? I don't know. Anyway, she was on live with someone else and she was showing this beautiful paper pad. And um, of course, I didn't even say hi. <laughs> I had just come into the live stream and saw what she was showing and I heard the information and off I went to find it. <laughs> and then I went back after I had made my purchase and said hi and you know let Colleen know that once again I had been enabled. I, I'm not that hard to be enabled, trust me, I'm very easy. But look at how they um sent everything. Wrapped up in this cute little tissue paper. I'll try and save that as best I can. I'm going to have to tear that a little bit. There we go. It doesn't matter. I don't need the whole, I don't need the piece whole, you know what I mean? I just need to be able to keep somewhere I can use it. So whatever. I also had to go to another website to get the 4x4 pad, 4x4, not 4x4, 12x12. Let me pause just a minute because my daughter's coming downstairs. Okay, we're back. My daughter came down and needed to talk to her. And thank God she is feeling better today. So that is a blessing right there. All right, so the set that I got so excited about is called Farm Meadow. And uh, the first thing I have is... Um, these are wood shapes. 
And so they've got like a guard. Did I really just break? Oh, okay, I thought I just broke something because I heard like a click that they just moved away from each other. But it's just got like a garden uh, farm kind of thing. I got it because it's got the tractor in there. I don't really want to. I guess I can open it. So we got the straw bales, the boots, the basket with the vegetables, a little jar with flowers, a pitchfork and shovel, watering can with the bird, the tractor, bouquet of flowers, and a crate of produce. And they had um they had a couple other ones too, but um I was trying to just stick with the ones that, like, I really, really wanted. And the tractor was the one I really wanted. So that's why I went with this one. But they have one with the animals, too, I think. And the other reason I didn't get all of these is because I got some stamps. I got the animal stamps. Love the little bunnies. And then I got the, um, these are the stamps that kind of go with the, wood pieces I got except it's got the chickens in it so aren't those cute it's like how can you not go and purchase those if you're able you know and then look at these you guys they're little rooster charms and so of course I had to get those aren't those cute and then here is the paper this is a six by six and like I said I needed to get a 12 by 12 so I went and um, I can't remember. I got the 12 by 12 from a, a like a craft store site or like a like a site like Joggles where they have like all kinds of craft supplies that they sell. And I did go ahead and get two of them because I just have a feeling that when Wind of This gets out, it's going to sell out like a lot of the Graphic 45 stuff does. So I wanted to make sure I got it while they had it. So on the inside cover, and this is that same, let's see, is that the same? No, it's not the same company. Remember when I showed you guys this paper pad and it opened up like this and had the cut apart on the inside? Well, this is the same way, and I have not seen that before. So, I don't know if they're starting to do that, or if it's just certain companies are starting to do that. I was trying to see if this was like an American made, or maybe it's like a UK. Or, no, it's made in China. And, oh, yep, designed in the UK. I wonder if this is like a UK thing. But anyway, I digress. So here are your papers. Isn't that cute with the tractor and the straw bales? And here you've got your chickens. I just, I love these papers. Is that the same? No, but, ooh, look at that. It's got the foiling on it oh and look there's the bunnies Aww, love them oh did I show the back yeah okay I wasn't sure I had shown the back side of those there's more bunnies oh I love this paper I am so glad I got the 12 by 12 too. It's got the chickens and the ducks. How cute. Some geese. There's the back side. See what I mean though? You see why I was so easily enabled with this? And then here's more cutouts on the back love love this so it's farm meadow uh, by claire therese 
and it is a UK design product so that's the other thing you know it's not American made so you know I don't know how hard things are to get a hold of from like UK or whatever but probably harder than if it was in the US so that was my joggles purchase love 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 that not so bad about that one little bit my little area up here where I've been putting stuff that needs to be put away is getting full now the other thing that I'm going to share I hadn't planned on it but there's a gift in there so I want to make sure I say thank you to the person that got it for me um, this was my first time going to one of Rosie Alcala's sale and Rosie is Rosie's Crafty Shack Sorry, the SHs are hard for me to say. But it's Rosie's Crafty Shack on YouTube. And it looks like she has a sale every month. So um, I'll put her link in and you subscribe and um, ring the notification bell and you'll know when she has her next sale. Rosie has some of the most beautiful items I have ever seen and she makes some of the most beautiful items I've ever seen she also um I don't know if she still does but she used to do monthly kits and I had bought a couple of her kits in the past as well so the first thing I have right on top here it's a white quilted that quarter fabric which probably would make a nice journal cover it was a dollar fifty you guys know I have a hard time finding the openings to these bags for some reason. It's just this. Isn't that beautiful? Probably get a couple covers out of that. I thought that was so pretty. I wasn't going to get it because I don't really need the uh, cover fabric covers per se but um she was going to sell it for two and then she marked it down to a dollar fifty well when it went down to a dollar fifty i guess that fifty cents made a difference to me i felt like i had to have it then at that point <laughs> oh i don't know i'm dark and then she had a napkin pack that was Two twenty-five, and I am just as addicted to napkins as I am to lace. So we have this one. It was so nice today to walk outside and go down my new steps that they built for me yes not yesterday the day before yesterday now i have to worry about the next to the bottom step falling off when i <laughs> stepped down <laughs> they were getting pretty bad you guys i had two steps that were like that where one of the boards had come loose and they would fall off and then there was another part up by the top where it was coming apart so i think the deck itself was still sturdy <laughs> i hope <laughs> but the steps definitely were um, having a lot of issues and they're wood so the the rail on the old ones was wood and there was a couple times I got like a splinter in my hand from where it was coming up from the board you know because they were weathered so but now the rail is a metal like my front ones it's like a plastic coated metal or something I don't know but anyway and it's white so they they look nicer i hope they replace our fences too because those were the same redwood color that our steps were and they're looking pretty nasty too aren't these birds pretty gonna be a scorcher today too it's one o'clock now i'm kind of late getting around doing stuff but it's already like 81 degrees probably feels like it's about 90. that's hot for us in michigan we don't uh, always get warm summers like that our pond is almost dried up 
those of you that have seen the pictures or the videos I've done of what it looks like around here in the pond, it is almost completely dried up. We had some ducks on it. Um, I don't know if they're still out there in that little bit of water that's left, but somebody hit one of the ducks. I was so sad. I was pulling out of the drive the other day and I thought I was going to see a squirrel when I looked out, but nope, it was a duck. That made me sad. That was pretty. It's almost like a, reminds me of a watercolor. Oh, that is the same napkin. I didn't realize that was the same napkin. It threw me off having the stripes on there. That's kind of cool. I'll make a neat background. I think I'm going to set this video maybe to air later tonight. Because I had set another one that came out early this morning. Um, since I'm not doing too many, I figure I might as well stretch them out a little bit so that um, you guys will have videos. I love this one. This is my favorite one. I might have this one too already. It's funny how often I can buy napkins and still get, I'm not holding that right, and still get ones that I don't have. Just amazing how many different napkins there are out there, you know. Sorry for all the noise, you guys. I'm trying to remember to speak softer, too, because I'm kind of loud anyway. I mean, I don't mean to be, but I just kind of am, and the more... Excited I get about something, the louder I get. Excuse me, I'm getting a drink here. And I'm not very far from my camera microphone, so I have to remember, you know, to speak a little bit more quietly. And I know these bags make a loud noise too sometimes. So these, I didn't purchase this as a package. She's just packaged it all together. So I think she's got the prices on different ones. But you guys, now I paid a little bit more for some of this lace than I might normally. But it is so beautiful. Look at this pin she put in there. Make a stick pin out of that, right? And I probably will. So this one was $3.75 a yard. Look at this though. Isn't that gorgeous? It's got the embroidery and the pearls on there. This stuff smells really good. I don't know what Rosie put in it, but boy does it smell good. And if I'm going too slow, you know, and you want to just fast forward, that's that's fine. I'm just not in a real high energy uh, frame of mind right now. I don't think I'm going to put that back on there now that I've shown it. So, um, so yeah, I'm not moving real fast. I'm not talking real fast. So, <laughs> bear with me. So, this was $4 for a half yard, which that's pretty high for what? I mean, it's not... I'm not saying it's a high price for this. I'm saying I just don't normally spend that much for stuff. But look at this. You can um, cut it apart. You know, you can use just one ruffle. You can use two. So I just thought this was really versatile and uh, was worth it to me. So I did go ahead and get that. But no, I think Rosie had fabulous prices. Now, this was $0.75 cents a yard. Look how beautiful that is. I 
I have goosebumps. This is how much I love this beautiful stuff. Showing it to you guys, I have goosebumps. <laughs> There's a reason why Brooke calls me weirdo. It's okay. I embrace my weirdness. This one was $2 a yard. Isn't that pretty? This one was 75 cents a yard, and there's two yards here. Yeah, beautiful. Sorry, I'm just going off camera here to fold that length up. She's got it all so nicely done. I don't want to get it all messed up. All right, that's what was in that one. I'm going to have to separate that or I'm not going to get it back in there. So my plan for today, not that my days always go the way I plan them. Actually, they rarely ever go the way I plan them. I think that's just the way of things for most of us. Um, but the plan is, when I get this taping done, is to try and get something done in this house. But it's already 1.30, like I said. I have to go to the grocery store for my mom today. Which I hate going to the grocery store. I don't even go inside for my groceries. I do the grocery pickup thing. But um, for her stuff, I have to go inside because um, if they don't have what's on her list and I have to call her and see, you know, what they, I have to tell her what they have and what I can replace it with. And you just can't do that when you do it online or whatever. So I do have to go in the store and I, I hate that with a passion. Uh, this is a half yard for $1.25. Of course, this is purple. So I have to do that today. My son is going to go and help me. And um, then after I get done with her groceries, i got to come back here and grab Liz so she can get out of the house. She doesn't feel up to go into the store, but she wants to run out to Nana's with us. $1.25 for this one. I like this kind of stuff for my boho. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll probably go out there and have some dinner with her. And, uh, the, another game that she likes to play, but we can't play it when it's just the two of us because you need more people, is, uh, Parcheesi. This one's a dollar twenty-five for a half yard. Um, so we'll play a game of Parcheesi and then I'll probably head back home and try and get some more work done tonight while Liz and I watch our favorite shows. I am, uh, I like the reality shows, as, however much reality they really are, but those uh, 90 Day Fiance and 90 Day Fiance the other way and all that stuff, we they crack us up. Especially the ones where they have the people that are from previous seasons that are watching the current season and making comments. That's our favorite. We love that show. So, usually on Sunday night, we watch those. So, I told her, I said, I'll still watch the shows with you, but I'm going to be over here at my craft table working on organizing the mess that's around me. This one's a half yard for $1.75. Beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Then this one is a dollar, and I don't know how much is there. It doesn't say. Looks like about the same amount, maybe a yard. I don't know. Isn't that pretty? I mean, if I really wanted to, I could measure it on my board right here. But <laughs> this is another one that I got with Boho in mind. It's a half yard for $2. Very pretty. Let's see if I can this off of here without ruining it. Isn't 
Okay. This is just a fringy sequined piece. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. It's so pretty. I could take a ton of that. Okay, so that was what was in that package. Thankfully, I have central air here where I live. So, that is a blessing because, you know, who wants to clean when it's hotter in Hades, right? Let me get another drink here. It's my first cup of coffee of the day. All right. This is some of the wider, like, it's more like lace fabric than it is, you know, your regular lace. So we got this pink. This is an 18 by 22 piece. Um, dollar 25. I don't know. I think these were steals myself. Oop. So this is just pink lace with the little blingies on it. Lace and bling together. What more do we need to be in heaven, right? This is a, it says pink, but boy, with the pink, doesn't that look peach? It looks peach to me. Not, it doesn't matter. But, and that, um, 18 by 22 also, it's $1.25. And this is just a piece of lace. Here's a white lace, 18 by 25, $1.25. And that is just this. And it's got like a texture to it. And a shimmer. Isn't that pretty? I'm telling you, you guys. Rosie has beautiful items. I really was just going to stop in her sale and say hi. Because I was kind of bored that day. And, you know, I don't get much social interaction. So, um... But I'll show you when I get to it what caught my eye the very first thing that I had to bid on. And that sucked me right into the sale. It was all over at that point. I don't think I told you guys I did get to go. And I'm probably talking about it again. I did get to go hang out with some girls that I worked with one day. Um, there's this gal named Trish. Trisha. And I have worked with Trisha for, um, not steadily, but, you know, because I work as a sub. But Trisha was the first one that I worked with when I started subbing back in, gosh, was it 2003 or four or something like that? And, um, you know, have continued to work with her over this time. She's retiring this year. This is her last year. I'm so sad. All the people that I worked with for years are retiring now, but me being a sub, you know, I'll probably work until I die. Isn't that beautiful? That was um, $2 a yard. But anyway, um, Trish had a barbecue at her house, and it was, you know, all of us girls that worked together. So there was, um, there's three of them all the time in the room, and then me, and then there was another gal that, um, I know, uh, cause she used to work in the classroom with Trisha years ago. Now they're in different rooms, but she was there too. So it was nice to see everybody. Here's another one of those beautiful pins. What did I do with that other one? Where did that go? Oh, here it is. I don't want to lose those. Put it over here. But there's another one of those. But anyway, um, I didn't stay a long time, um, Two half yards. And it, oh, I have a half yard for $1.75. I was like trying to figure out what all that was saying. But look at this. This reminded me of peacocks. Peacock feathers. So I had to get a piece of that. 
this was a popular one. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, but I did. Um, so anyway, um, she already had all the food done when we got there. Of course, I was a little bit late. Like I told you, I'm late everywhere I go. Um, but she had, um, knowing that I'd had this dental work done, she's so sweet. I love Trish. She had made soup and her homemade mac and cheese. This gal makes the best mac and cheese I have ever had in my life. This is $1.25 a yard. I got two yards. Um, and then she had uh, ribs, but she had barbecued them and put them in the crock pot. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, my gosh. I love this trim. Um, and it was so tender and fallen off the bone that I actually was able to eat the barbecue, too. So um, I was thankful for that. And it was good. She is an excellent cook. Everything was so good. She had uh, crescent rolls, too, and veggies and dip, but I couldn't eat the, the raw veggies. Um, but, yeah, it was it was good to get out and um, be able to hang out with other people again. And um, these are gals that I just, I love being around anyway. When I go to work with them, it's more of a, it's more of a social break <laughs> for me than it is working. And it's just an extra perk that I get paid. <laughs> so, but, um, but yeah, they're, they're all getting up to the point, um, because I've worked with them for so long and they had already been working there when I came along, that it's getting time for all of them to retire. But we're not going to focus on that because that makes me sad. <laughs> But I had a good time. I was there a couple hours and then I had to head out to my mom's, feed the cats, take the trash out, and all that fun stuff. This is a half a yard for a dollar. Look how beautiful this is, you guys. It's got the little, I don't know if you can, if it'll focus. It's got the little seed beads. There we go. These are little seed beads right here. And then it's got like a little sequin with a seed bead on top. Isn't that beautiful? I love this lace. It's a little piece, but I love it. My scissors are there before they get lost in the pile. And then we have... I hope this isn't boring for you guys to just sit here and watch me go through bag after bag. I definitely splurged at this sale. This sale was shortly after I had my dental work done and I was kind of depressed and feeling bad about how I looked and stuff and I just totally did some retail therapy. Half a yard for two dollars. And don't we all have to do that sometimes? Isn't that beautiful? It's got like the little, it's got a lot going on because it's got like the um, tool and then the lace. The tool is like pleated, and then it's got some lace on top of that, and then it's got like little appliques of these little pieces. So it's got a lot going on, that little piece of lace. Just beautiful. And one more in this bag. Just a little delicate piece of lace. It's $1.50 um, a dollar fifty a yard. Cut that off of there. I'm going to leave it tied up for now. I think you can see what it looks like there. Isn't that cute? Pretty? Cute and pretty. <laughs> I say cute because it's just so little, you know. much more to go you guys I might have maybe should have done this video by itself but of course I'm already going now you know what they say about hindsight 
Okay, so this is an 18 by 21 white applique fabric, and it's 250. How beautiful this is, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, you could cut that apart if you wanted to, or use it for a background. You could put it over top of, um, you know, like you could make a fabric cover and put this over top if you wanted to for a journal. I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but it was just such a pretty piece. It's got these pieces that dangle off at the bottom, too. So, a lot you can do with that piece. And this I got with uh, Gypsy in mind. So this one is a black and white mesh lace, $1.25, 18 by 21. And it's just this right here. I guess there's three of them in here. This one is 18 by 21 black lace fabric for a dollar. It's got like a, I think it's got like a floral pattern. I was trying not to open it up all the way, but yeah, it's got like flowers. Isn't it cool? What you could do with that too. Very soft. Really soft. And then this has sparkles on it, so, you know, there's that. 18 by 22, $1.25. This is beautiful. And the, um, look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like a, it feels like felt. I love this. That is beautiful. Ugh. Gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, I'm a telling you, Rosie has beautiful things. Sorry about the crackling, but I didn't want to put that in there and have it be, um, oops, I the have it be, um, wrinkled in the package, you know. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom. Now, this was a gift from, um, Jude, and I had no idea that was in there. Let me see if I can quickly find, um, I don't know if I can find her channel real quick because I can never crafty. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm going to have to search for that. Because she has one of those long names with Jude at the end of it. But, um, what a sweetheart. Thank you. I don't even know if Jude watches my channel. If you do, Jude, thank you so much for your gift. I can't find the opening. There we go. Oh, cool. These are square doilies. And I've told you guys before, these make great pockets. Look at all these. 
Awesome. Thank you so much, Jude. I really appreciate that. What a sweetheart. Try not to get emotional here. It always kind of blows me away when people are so nice and give me things. So, so sweet. Okay, and then we got some fabrics. We're almost done, you guys. We're almost to the finale, so to speak. And I saved the most beautiful treasure for the finale. Okay, so let me just show you these first. These are little um, tags that have strips of fabric. I, I don't think they're sorry. They're just, they're chiffon is what they are. $1.65 for each of these. And this is not showing up the correct color on my monitor. It is kind of like a lime green, what it's showing. But I'm going to open this one to show you because it's really cool. It's, um... It changes color. How did you get that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. There we go. It's just open on the side. It changes color as you unroll it. Isn't that cool? I don't want to unroll the whole thing. But this is more of a lime green kind of color. And it's not showing it true on my camera. And this is kind of like... Um, it's a little lighter of, of like the lime green. It's very um, bright. So I thought that was really cool. That's why I had to get that one. And then this is, well that one's showing you the right color. And then this is like a peach. So I got those. And then I got these different polka dots fabric this one reminded me of Julia Roberts dress in Pretty Woman when she went to the races wasn't she wearing a brown dress with polka dots I think she was that's what I thought of anyway when I saw it that was 50 cents 16 by 14 19 by 15 50 cents it kind of washed out on there it's a it's a brighter green than what it's showing and then purple of course 18 by 21 75 cents Look at this cute little butterfly it's blue butterflies it's a dollar 25 she didn't put the measurement on there but they're all similar in size and then purple with yellow cherries That's not showing the right color. Whenever I show like a plum purple, it always looks like a dark purple on my computer. That was $1.25. I don't know if I said that or not. So that's all the fabric that I got. All right. Are you guys ready? Are you ready to see what drew me into the sale from the get-go the very first thing that I bid on that I could not resist like when I saw it and she was showing it I was like come on come on let's get to the auction let's get to the auction I want to see if I can get this <laughs> I was antsy you guys you ready here it comes it's this little treasure box she's got this um Oh, it's, I think it's probably more of that chiffon wrapped around it. It's in this cute little plastic box. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited. I haven't even looked through it yet myself. So first, right on top, look at this. Isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh. Sparkle, sparkle everywhere. And we got this little flower. I should just zoom my camera in instead of holding it up. Let me let me zoom just a little here. There we go. That's probably close enough. Got this. Do you guys see what I'm talking about here? 
And I had set myself a price because I knew everybody was going to want this because we all love sparkly things, don't we? Most of us. I'm Not all of us, I know. But most of us. That's got the pearls and the little crystals. And I knew it was going to be a hot item. So I'm like, okay, Dorinda, be realistic. You know, you're not going to be able to go crazy with this. There's several of these. But, okay. In my mind, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go to this amount. If it goes past it, I'll stop. Now, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't know if it had gone past that amount if I would have kept going. I, I honestly don't know. Thankfully... It stopped two dollars <laughs> before what I had given myself as a limit and obviously I got it so I was so excited you guys so excited how does this I'm trying to figure out how this goes I don't know if it goes behind or if it goes in front I'm not sure how it's supposed to be Let's put them behind and see how it looks. Hmm. I don't know how it's supposed to go, but it's pretty cool. Isn't that pretty? Look at this flower. I mean, my goodness. So much sparkle. Some of them, the stones are gone, but that's all right. They're vintage. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? My gosh, I just love these. This one. Is that turned the right way up? I mean, just beautiful. Oh. There's this one. It's got the black, and I love that. Isn't that beautiful? I know. I'm going to say that on everything. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my gosh. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I'm sorry. I should just be quiet and show it to you. Whoopsie. Oh, then there's some beads in here, too. I'll just put that back in there. Yeah. I don't know how Rosie could part with all this stuff. She must have a huge collection. That's all I got to say. I wouldn't have been able to. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Those are pearls. Look at that. That's, I don't know if you can tell, but that's purple. Quite a few of those pieces. It's like gold. It's like the purple, but it's gold. Similar anyway. It's another one of those. Hold on a second. Let me pause for just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. It's like this one. This has got like a clear piece in it. Like you could put a picture on the back of there maybe. 
I don't know. We'll see. That was a thought that I had. Oh, here, let me move all this over so it's still in the camera so you guys can see it. I didn't realize I was setting it down out of... I mean, I'm not going to probably get it all in here anyway, but... Anyway. That's pretty... You guys can hear that water or not. I apologize if you can. She's getting in the shower. Oh, that's beautiful. Another one of those. And another one. Another one of those in the gold. Okay, where'd that purple one go? Oh, look at the little bow. Little bow. I mean, do you guys believe all the pieces that were in here? I think there was, yeah, there was one of those already right there. It's got a lot of sparkle to it, doesn't it? Here's another flower. It says love. These are... little round pieces. Oops. Here's like a, it's got wings in it, necklace. Oh wow, look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm sure that was an earring at one time. And then there's this piece. Another one of these. And then there's these. I don't know if these are. I'm trying to see if they're different. Some of them are. You've got um that can focus on that or not. It's hard to see it because oh that's just hope, peace. Joy. Oh, cool. They've got words on the side. Hope, peace, joy. There's another piece. Hope. Oh, I love that. Joy. I'll have to use these on the dangles for the journals for the ladies. Hope. Hope. And joy. Very cool. And then there's just a clasp in there and a couple stones. So, what do you guys think? Gorgeous, right? I'm not going to say how much I spent. <laughs> it wasn't crazy, though. It, it really wasn't. I don't, I don't generally do crazy. Um, but uh, I was thrilled to get this. So, that is everything, you guys, that I have for you. I will link um, Christy and... Colleen and Rosie and Jude down below, down on top. And you guys can um, check out all their channels. So thanks for uh, stopping in, you guys, and taking a look at these little treasures. And hopefully you'll um, check out their channels and maybe you'll find some treasures for you. So have a fabulous day, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. 
If you want to, hit that like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.